Hello everyone. My name is Riya Jain and in today's video we are going to discuss about the kidney. So the topics for discussion are about kidneys, functions of the kidneys, substances filtered, reabsorbed and excreted in the urine, abnormal constituents in the urine and the kidney function test. Starting about what kidneys actually are, so these are paired uh, organs, so there are two kidneys which are reddish kidney beans in shape and uh, are located just above our waist and behind the abdomen. Looking at the functions of the kidneys, uh, the first and the important function of the kidneys are to regulate the blood ionic composition. So the kidneys help regulate the blood levels of several ions. So most importantly, your sodium ions, potassium ions, calcium, chloride and phosphate ions. The next function is kidneys help in regulation of blood pH. So the kidneys excrete a variable amount of hydrogen ions into the urine and they conserve something called as a bicarbonate ion. So bicarbonate ions are an important buffer of hydrogen in the blood. So hydrogen usually, hydrogen ions usually make our blood acidic and that is how uh, kidneys excrete variable amount of hydrogen and help maintaining the pH. The next is they help in regulation of the blood volume. So the kidneys adjust the blood volume by conserving or eliminating water in the urine. And increase in the blood volume increases the blood pressure as well and the decrease in the blood volume decreases the blood pressure. The next is yes, regulation of your blood pressure. So the kidneys, they help in uh, regulating the blood pressure by secreting an enzyme called as renin which further activates a pathway called as the renin angiotensin aldosterone pathway which is what usually causes a uh, rise in the blood pressure. The next is kidneys help in the production of hormones. So there are certain hormones uh, that the kidneys produce. Uh, the one being calcitriol. So calcitriol is actually the active form of vitamin D which is secreted by your kidneys and thereby it helps in regulating the calcium levels in the body. And the other hormone that is uh, made by the kidneys is erythropoietin. Erythropoietin stimulates the production of red blood cells. Uh, your kidneys also help in maintaining blood osmolarity. So by separately regulating the loss of water and also the loss of solutes in the urine, the kidneys maintain a relatively constant blood osmolarity, uh, pretty close to 300 milliosmoles per liter. Let's understand something about what osmolarity actually is. So the osmolarity is usually of a solution. The solution here is your blood. So the osmolarity of a solution is basically the measure of total number of dissolved particles. So your blood has a lot of dissolved particles in the form of the different components it has, right? So the particles uh, in the blood would be the different molecules or ions or the mixture of both. And osmolarity is usually the measure of the number of total dissolved particles, that is these solutes. These uh, dissolved particles are also called as solutes. And when I say kidneys help in the maintenance of blood osmolarity, they do by relatively keeping the osmolar blood osmolarity, that is the solutes of the blood, uh, close to 300 os milliosmoles per liter. The next is kidneys, they help in regulation of blood glucose level. The kidneys can release glucose in the blood and may help in the maintenance of a normal blood glucose level also. And last but not the least, kidneys help in the excretion of waste and foreign substances out of the body. So for by forming urine, the kidneys help excrete waste outside the body. Now coming towards the substances which are filtered, reabsorbed and excreted in the urine. So not everything uh, that goes out of your body in the form of urine is excreted uh, or not all the substances are excreted out of your body. Some important uh, substances are reabsorbed by your kidneys to maintain a homeostasis. So as you can see, there are different substances and uh, those of which which are filtered, which are reabsorbed and which are secreted. So water is uh, secreted in the urine and some amount is also reabsorbed that is returned to blood in order to maintain the blood volume. Chloride ions are uh, again reabsorbed fully and only some amount is uh, secreted in the urine. Same is the case with sodium ions 
and bicarbonate ions are totally reabsorbed as i told you uh, kidneys help in maintaining the ph by reabsorbing the bicarbonate ions which act as a buffer your glucose is not a part of your urine all the glucose that comes to your uh, kidney is reabsorbed urea is uh, reabsorbed by your kidneys and some amount is also excreted potassium ions are uh, reabsorbed fully some amount only a minimal amount is secreted uric acid is uh, reabsorbed and some amount is again secreted and creatinine is fully secreted uh, none of it is reabsorbed moving on to the abnormal constituents in the urine so uh, the constituents that are mentioned here as albumin glucose your red blood cells white blood cells ketone bodies bilirubin urobilinogen casts and microbes are not a normal part of your urine and presence of these substances in the urine causes uh, it is a sign that some, something is wrong in the body lastly talking about the different kidney functions test so there are different blood markers which help in identifying if your uh, kidneys are functioning properly or not so next talking about the different kidney function test the first one is creatinine so creatinine is the breakdown product of something called as creatin phosphate which is made in your muscle fiber and the levels of creatinine in your blood usually are indicative of your kidney function followed by so blood urea nitrogen is the waste product of the metabolism of protein in the kidneys so one blood urea nitrogen can tell you about your kidney function followed by uric acid uric acid is a waste product and is excreted out of your body by your kidneys electrolytes can be good indicators of your kidney functions as well electrolytes like uh, calcium sodium potassium phosphorus and magnesium and then there is a particular test named cystatin c so cystatin c is an enzyme which is particularly made in your kidneys and the levels of cystatin c are directly indicative of your kidney functions and lastly so this is urine analysis is not a blood test it is actually the ro examination of your urine which helps you uh, identify the abnormal constituents that might be present in your uh, urine and help you identify if there is any underlying disease that is developing so if you have any questions related to this video you can add ask those in the comments and stay in touch for the further updates and subscribe the channel thank you